up everybody this is visit joan and welcome to a build that has been a work in progress for a while and something i've wanted to do even longer yeah that's right this is the build for my vet clinic now i've wanted to do a vet clinic for quite a while now because you know on my old computer i had a sim who owned the vet clinic that came with cats and dogs in brindleton bay and i actually got her to i think it was level eight veterinary skill which was like a huge deal because like at the time I had never actually gotten a sim to max one of their skills the first time I did that was actually in the sims 2 and that was actually in 2018 if you can believe it or not so I've never been good at maxing anything a skill was just something always somebody else maxed but you guys I am proud to say that this vet clinic has been finished it's long overdue as I started this actually at the end of March so and at the time I am recording this, I don't actually know when this video is even going to go up. It may be soon, it may be a while, it depends on what I talk about in this voiceover and how many builds I have to go up by the time I'm done with this. I mean, I don't, I really don't know what's going on. I had plans, but I pretty much had to scrap them because the weather outside is absolutely, well, not good. It was raining earlier and of course my plans kind of have to hinge on what my mom is doing because a lot of the stuff I do ha depends on her actually being out of the house. So if she goes and visits somebody else in another town, I basically have a very productive day and if she doesn't, well then I have to basically plan what I do around when she does leave the house. So I really don't know. She's at home right now. I have no idea when she'll be back because she was talking about going to see family members today. But the weather just became really bad. She wanted to put a bunch of peat on, under, bleh, I'm losing my mind here, under my grandpa's tomato plants because compared to my uncle's, they were not doing all that great. But the weather decided not to cooperate. And well, that's that guys. There's nothing I can do about any of this. So she left a bunch of clues that maybe she would be you know, not leaving for the day. So I really don't know. I haven't spoken to her. There's other things I want to get done, but I can't really do them, you know, obviously. But um, yeah, so back to this. This is a vet clinic. It, I don't know. I kind of had the idea of it being two stories because I don't know. I thought it would be kind of cool to have like a two-story waiting room. So all the exam rooms, that's what I'm building right now. The exam rooms are all on the top floor. There's five of them. And the surgery rooms are on the bottom floor or not the bottom floor, the first floor, along with the, um, whatchamacallit. Oh my goodness, this roof, guys, can we just, uh, this roof was a pain in the butt. I had to, I spent so much time on it. And as you can see, I cut, simply just cut a lot of it out and got rid of a lot of it altogether. Roofing is probably the bane of my existence in this game. And I know there are some people like the Simstream who love playing around with roof tools. I am not one of them. <laughs> I just, I just, you know, the auto roof feature in The Sims 2 was a godsend. I'm just going to say that that is something that I've never really thought about it, but it kind of needs to come back, guys. Like, I'm not, oh my goodness. Every time I try to roof something, it just ends up in disaster and it takes too long and it's another big chunk I have to cut out of the video, which means I have to spend more time editing. So that's not really all that good of a thing that's going on, but... Like I said before, the surgery rooms were downstairs along with the um, medicine crafting room, the employee break room, and the, I don't even know what else is down there, um, probably like the office rooms and the waiting room and, you know, stuff like that. There's also a little training facility outside, which is something I've never actually played with until I recorded this build. It was like I've never actually done any of the dog training things until a couple days ago, so... I know I just repeated myself there. I don't know what the heck is going on. You see, I've, I've been feeling really weird lately. I've been having a lot of trouble staying motivated. Today, I feel great. Today, I just feel like, okay, let's go. Let's get some stuff done. Come on, come on, come on. And I have absolutely no idea why, but the last couple of days was like, I just didn't have any desire to do anything. And that's a problem because it kind of symbols that I need a break. But as some of you guys know, I have no life outside of content. So if I were to take a break, what would I do? Like, seriously, that's kind of like the conundrum. It's at the point where I'm thinking, before I even started this channel, before I even got back into doing The Sims, I'm not even sure what I did. I know I played a lot of games, and I still do, but it, it, that was pretty much what I did all day long. And now it's just like, what do I do if I take a break? I literally can't, because it's like, it's like I'm like SpongeBob when Mr. Krabs, you know, forces him to take a day off or else he'll get a fine. It's like, what, what do you do when you get a day off and you, like, really love your job, you know what I mean? 
So yeah, but the good news is the 4th of July weekend is coming and that is usually when I do take a break. That would usually be Animated West weekend. But since that's not happening this year, thank you coronavirus. I really don't know what I'm doing. I mean, my cousin, he did ask for the week off back in the weekend off back in January. So there's a very good chance he'll be coming up here. And that is really exciting because I hope that's a chance to relive the good old days. And I honestly miss that when my cousins would come over and we would just have a sleepover because my aunt would do who the heck knows what in the summer. And she would just drop my two cousins, you know, off at my house for like just a week at a time, pretty much. And we would just have so much fun. We'd play computer. We had like a little schedule. It'd be like, wake up, eat breakfast, play computer, eat lunch, play computer, eat dinner, play computer, go to bed. Okay. It wasn't exactly that the same thing, but, um, yeah, I could tell you a bunch of stories about that, but now is not the time for that. We are talking about this vet clinic. And the reason it was a work in progress for so long it was simply because I just needed a break from building for a while. Like I built a lot like right before March and when Tiny Living came out and after that it was just like, you know, full builders burnout. I don't really want to do any more building. I just want to play the game. And that was frustrating because I built everything myself, all the houses, all the community lots, everything. And I didn't used to be like that. There were, you know, sometimes when I, when I did during the Sims three days where it was just like, Oh my goodness, I really don't want to waste time building. I just want to get into the game and I just pick a house out of the inventory and just go. And I guess that's what's good about the gallery is for people who are not good at building or just don't want to build, they can just pick a house from the gallery and just start playing if they don't want to play in one of um, the houses that came with the game because those are so sparsely populated. It's not even, not populated, um, like decorated. It's not even funny or like furnished, I should guess as act the actual word I'm looking for here. Yeah, there we go, furnished. But um, I'm not like that anymore. I really like building and so I just want to build everything myself. And so, and again, if I don't, that's kind of another video I'm kind of cheated out of. So yeah. And it is raining again. Although the good thing is, is that this program autosaves. So if I were to lose power, most of this voiceover would still be intact. So I'm happy about that. But anyway, like I was saying, you know, this basically sat as like an empty shell for two, three months. I don't even know. But, well, actually, when I look at the um, video, yesterday was um, three months from when I started this. So, yeah, I did pretty much sit as an empty shell for like three months. But then finally, like, I needed something to do. I needed something to build. I needed, because, you know, I'm finally catching up on all the build videos I have. And basically, I'm beginning to run out, which is not a good thing. I mean, it's kind of a good thing because I no longer have a surplus, but it's not because, you know, what if I need to take a break in the near future and I need that surplus, you know what I mean? So anyway, you guys, I decided to finally finish this because, you know, for some reason, when you go, when you play another household and you go back into a household that has pets, the pets are always sick. And I don't know why. It's just like, I just want to play. And then you're like, no, wait, but now I got to take the pets to the vet. Oh, I really don't want to do that. And it just becomes a huge nuisance. And I just want, you know, just to have like, just a supply of like wellness treats. I could just give the pet and be like, okay, here you go. And everything's fine. Cause that's like, you know, another thing I could use this for, but I've always wanted to say, okay, one day I'm going to build my own vet clinic. One day I'm going to build my own vet clinic. And the day finally came. And this time around, it actually came to fruition. It was not the right word. I don't even know. But, um, anyway, you guys, that's what's going on here. Um, also in some news, I actually managed to get The Sims 3 working on my computer. I was kind of bored and one day I didn't really know what to do. I was kind of suffering from that lack of motivation. So I knew I had all my Sims 3 discs because back then I got everything on a disc. Well, almost everything. I still have a couple of stuff packs that you know, I did buy online and it doesn't, you know, recognize the for some reason that I bought them. I don't know. I no longer have email access to the, no, I no longer have access to the email where that my account is under. So I really just don't have a way to get those, you know, um, whatchamacallit codes. I mean, I guess I just could register on my old computer, but that computer is eight years old. It's a laptop and I really just have no desire of using it anymore. So, um, yeah, that's kind of where I stand. But anyway, I got the old games 
and I typed in the code. I found a way you could do that on Origin. I typed in the code, and guess what I got? And the next time I loaded up The Sims 4, I got all these freaking plum bottle lamps. And I'm like, what What the heck? Where did all of these come from? And then I remember somebody had that in like a build that I saw. I'm like, so that's where they got all those plum bottle lamps. I'm like, where is they? Where? What? What? It all makes sense now. Like, really. But anyway, I was able to install the game and I was able to find, you know, my old um, account on The Sims 3 store. And that was a funny story because when it came up, you know, the accounts on the Sims 3 store are under EA accounts. And for some reason, the thing was auto filled in. So I'm like, okay, sign me in. And it's like, okay, you need a persona for the site. And I'm like, I already have one. And then I typed in Visit Joan and it was already taken. And I'm like, okay, something's not right here. So I looked up Visit Joan and I found the profile. It was me. It was a Sim that looks pretty much exactly like me. So I'm like, I know this is mine because that's the Sim I had, you know? And not only did I have this account for over a decade, but since I did get it before 2012, when I went away to a four-year school, I had used my mom's email address to sign up for the account. So that's what was going on. So I had to basically sneak in and change the password because I didn't remember it. But I finally got to the point where I got the boardwalk. And I really wanted the boardwalk because I wanted to put a roller coaster in a video. I don't know, probably by the time this is going up, you haven't seen it yet because I, there's a specific date I want that video to go up. But anyway, I was kind of planning on maybe doing a video with the Functional Amusement Park mod in the Sim 4, but you need the Vampire Pack, which I don't have and I don't really want, which kind of stinks. That's just completely stupid. But, oh well, it is what it is. At least I have the roller coaster for The Sims 3. So I got The Sims 3 to work on my um, computer, finally, after a while, like getting it the right resolution and stuff like that. And I did, recording kind of was a little bit of a pain in the butt, but I think I found a way for it to work. So now I can have like more options when it comes to music videos and stuff, because options with The Sims 3, or not The Sims 3, The Sims 4, it's just completely limited, especially when it comes to working with kids. Like the One Trouble in Paradise video I did with Dirk and Lilith as children, oh my goodness it was so hard to just get them to do what I needed them to do and I also couldn't manipulate their emotions at all so I couldn't put them in the emotional state I wanted them to be in and it was it was just Arr! but at least now with you know the sims 3 installed I can do some more opinion based list kind of scripted videos and have some footage of the sims 3 to go along with it so that's good and that's pretty much it. I've pretty much caught you up on everything I have any business on catching you up on. So yeah, back to the build now. You will notice that there are a lot of, um, there's a couple surgery rooms and a lot of exam rooms. However, you were only gonna see one of each of those on camera. I did record two exam rooms on camera, a small one and a bigger one, but I only decided to do the bigger one in the video because, oh my goodness, editing. Editing speed build is not my favorite thing in the world, but it has to be done and I just didn't want to edit both of them and the video was already like really long. It This video ends up being like 20 minutes long and that's with the intro and with all the screenshots at the end. So I don't know, maybe like the actual build portion of it is about maybe like 18 minutes or so and that's that's already long enough. I mean, I can't watch a complete speed build for like more than five minutes without you know, um, wanting to do something else in the middle of it. I have to be, you know, actively building or actively playing Tetris 99 or Pokemon or just doing something else while I'm listening to the build. And usually I'll look at the screenshots at the end, but that's me. I can't really just sit there for a long period of time. And now my mom has come home. Anyway, I'm sorry if you could hear the garage door opening. I just played it back. I don't think you can. But anyway, what I am working on here is a little, like, kitchenette for, you know, the vets and the staff to, you know, if they need between patient visits or whatever they're working on, they need to, you know, just grab some food, maybe some, like, microwave stuff that's going on here and, you know, stuff like that. So here's, like, a little kitchenette for them to grab some food and wow, I really need to rethink what I'm gonna say before I say this because I am repeating myself again and again and again. <laughs> but um, like I was saying, I decided to only do a couple of the rooms on camera. You will see all of them in the screenshots, so don't freak out. It's not like you're not gonna see the whole build. You will, 
but I just decided that it was hard enough, you know, anyway, to edit this big of a speed build, and I just didn't want to put myself, you know, through editing, like, a ton of it, and, you know, stuff like that. So anyway, this was pretty much my first time using a lot of the vet items in the, um, whatchamacallit, in The Sims 4, and it was really interesting, like, some of the stuff I found, like, there, there's this little poster, like, the anatomy of a cat, and they were showing its stomach, and inside its stomach is a mouse. I just thought that was hilarious. There's a bone in the dog's stomach, by the way. But, um, yeah, I was using these little, you know, pet things, and this is something interesting I did with the, um, pet food there. I don't know if anybody else has done that. I don't know. I don't watch a lot, a lot of vet, vet builds. Oh my goodness, I'm losing my mind. But anyway, for the surgery room, I kind of have one surgery room be, like, a dog surgery room, and then another one be, like, a cat surgery room. Of course, any pet can go in any one, but I really felt like um, it would be kind of interesting to have like a theme because I didn't want to use the same posters in both rooms because that would be just kind of stupid, you know what I mean? Same with the exam rooms. There were two of them that are dog themed, two of them that are cat themed, one big one and one little one. And then there is the one in the middle that kind of has both and every single, well not every single poster because some of the big posters that weren't, you know, like themed or maybe a little themed, I kind of mixed and matched. Like I put a dog, like an adopted dog poster and then like another, this is a vet clinic poster kind of thing, like next to it. But, um, kind of switched them up so that they wouldn't be the same as they were in, you know, the other two rooms. And that's pretty much, you know, what I did for the exam rooms. I kind of liked using a bunch of, like, different stuff here and just kind of cluttering the desks a little bit different for each desk because I figured, you know, each vet would have something a little bit different on their desks. And at that point, this is the part of the build where I was clearly in the zone because normally I can only build for, like, an hour or an hour and 30 minutes. And when I got done with this part of the build, when I, once I completely finished it, all the exam, well, almost all the exam rooms done and stuff like that, I just had like two more to go, whatever, I or three more to go or whatever, you know, I just, I took it off, I looked at the time that I had been recording, and there it was, I had been recording for like two hours, which rarely happens, I think my record is about two and a half hours, so... That's, you know, that rarely happens. It only happens when I'm, like, really, like, in the zone, so they say, which is actually from The Sims 2. Haha. <laughs> they yeah, very funny. But, um, so, guys, that is going to be it for this video. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you're still here, it means a lot. Don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, you can leave a comment or a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, you can follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram at VisitJoan and Twitter at VisitJoanVideos. But anyway, I'm going to get up out of here. Bye, everybody. I will see you in the next video.
Thank you.